this is Anne from the Useless Crafters. So I'm so excited to do this off the map tutorial today. Um, as you can see on the screen, I have a picture. Uh, this is someone who reached out to me and said, hey, what would you do differently? So I asked her if I could see, you know, her picture and if I could use it and she graciously said yes. So I feel like this is just such a great learning opportunity. So let's let me zoom in so you can see her picture a little bit and she did it at 28 inches so i mean that's a pretty you know standard size that we do i would say that most of my characters range between 26 and 30 inches um and that's totally dependent on the actual image if i can take it to 30 i'll take it to 30. 30 is my main number that i usually shoot for because it's a great size next to uh, toddlers, kids up to about age, I don't know, I would say even may, maybe age eight. So they're great party props at 30 inches, but I will not sacrifice the inches if there's going to be a seam, especially down the face. So anyway, let's just kind of make look to see where um, I would make the changes. I'll talk to you about it through, I'll talk you through that first, and then we'll actually go and, and put it to um, to the test okay so here is her thing now you can see her face is big she's all white and it comes up and it grabs this and it grabs this ear so just by adding the ear and this it totally changes the face it makes it so much bigger than it has to be so what i would recommend is close this little gap right here so actually not make it a seam but extend this black line and just make it a different part so it's her face and then she's got her pigtail, kind of like how this pigtail is separated or how this ear is separated, right? It could have been attached like it is over here. So speaking of, I would extend this line to here so that the ear is totally separated. And it's not going to be that crazy because look at the ears here. They're separated. Um, we'll just separate that. So then that leaves just the face. Okay, moving on. It looks like she has a seam right here, right? So what I would do is she has a good idea right here. I would extend this line and make it just her arm. And I think if we make it just her arm, we probably have some wiggle room to rotate it diagonally, make it fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and make it seamless. Um, so then that leaves, that's it. I mean, that's really our problem areas uh, would be the face and this arm right here. So, okay, so now that you've seen it, I am actually going to delete it because I, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna make it smaller. Let's make it smaller and kind of move it out of the way a little bit so we have it. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's make her 28 inches and see what we have. So when you're changing the height or the width, uh, make sure that it's locked so that you only have to enter in one proportion and then whatever that dim or that that dimension it will change it proportionately so 28 inches i'm gonna hit the tab key and so it's going to be a little bit 19 inches by 28 inches so let me zoom out so that we don't have to zoom keep scrolling up and down okay so here's our little picture of marie and she's so cute i mean i'm just thinking of the glitter i have in mind so like a very pink and then a pale pink for the ears um, it's funny that the ears match the bow. I kind of feel like this bow should match this, but minor details. Okay, so let's ungroup this and see what we have. So, all right, so let's look at our right-hand side panel. So we know the black background is too big, as well as the white. So let's start picking apart these pieces. So here is our white. Um, I'm gonna leave this for later. Let's look at this piece. So here's our pink. So what I would do with the pink is I would bring in a square and slice this apart. While you could technically cut, oh, no, you can't because it's 13 inches. Um, you just don't want to waste all that space, right? So let's just slice this out a little bit so that each piece is its own component so that when we go to the make it screen, we can put it really close to each other and not waste so much paper when we're cutting this. So I'm gonna put this here and slice this. When you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So right now we're slicing 
the pink image and the black square. And you wanna make sure that whatever piece that you're trying to pull apart from the other one is completely covered in by the square and nothing else is in that square. So that way you get a clean break of that item from the other pieces. Okay, so let me move this. We don't need any of these slice results, so I'm just gonna move these things out of the way and then you can just delete it. Okay, so now these little pieces and the bow, I'm just gonna keep together because it's so close to each other already, but you see how this can now be lumped in like this. So it's not gonna be 13 inches, it's going to be way smaller. And this pink, I feel like I wanna make it with this pink. I don't know. I'm actually gonna make this so I am gonna change the color because I don't want that pink. Okay, so I'm matching the pink from her, from her little pigtail to the pink sash in her neck. All right, so there we've got that. Let's see the next piece. This piece as well, I would, I would separate them. And not only that, I feel like I almost want to, let me look at this. No, I'm just gonna separate it. Okay, so let me separate this piece out. I don't wanna to change too much from the original because I wanna do a comparison. But I was very tempted because this pink sash up here, it's so close to each other. I was tempted to just weld another piece to make it one piece um, so that it's not two pieces that I need to be worrying about. But it's not a big deal, so I'm gonna leave it. All right, so let's look at the eyes. The eyes I would also separate, right? And you see I'm using the same square over. I'm just making sure that it's in a new space, right? I'm not slicing it in an open space. You need, you need it to be in the square, completely covered in the square, and only that piece. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. So this is pretty easy. I mean, all the pieces were, were pretty easy to work with, right? Okay, so now let's put her back so we can kind of see where she is. And that way it's easier to slice it this way when we know what it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. Okay, all right, so this square I'm gonna get rid of. All right, so we want to extend this right here and extend this right here and go up right here. Hopefully that's all that we need to do. So let's bring in my favorite font. So go to your text and if you don't have this, you need to download it. It's from Dafont, so D-A-F-O-N-T dot com, and the font is I Love Glitter. So let's type that in. So here it is. Now, personally, I don't love this font. I only love this font for this particular glyph. So what you want to do is it's the key to the right of the letter P, and it will give you this. It's got just enough of a curve because right here, I can't bring in a thin rectangle, right? It's going to be too straight. So I wanna be able to maybe use this curve right here to connect these two items. So I'm gonna bring this in and you wanna make sure that your width is of the same. So like this matches the width of here because you're gonna be slicing it and so that's gonna be the black square. So give me just one second. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna move, oops, not that. Let me undo that. I want to move my glyph, not my white. So I wanna make my glyph match up to this little area. And this is not gonna be perfect because you see the two hairlines, it's coming in at an angle. So it's not that I can connect the two, but I can, it will look more natural, I think, if we can kind of get a curve in there. So I'm gonna do something like that. No. And let me zoom in so we can see this better. So I'm not forcing myself to, um, to see this. So I'm almost tempted to do something like that. I think that's going to connect the two areas, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to, this is already um, grabbed, right? Like selected. And then scroll down to our white, hit the shift key and grab the white. And we're going to slice. So when we slice this, we're going to carefully move this out. We don't need this, right? And then the white 
we want to be careful here because oh this is still the black so we can remove the black delete that this white though because our glyph extended it got over here i don't want this piece to be removed i only want actually oh and it didn't extend right here okay so i need this to go down a little bit more so that's not a problem what we're going to do is we're going to go to contour and we're going to no we're not going to contour yet what we're going to do is we are going to bring in a circle okay and we're just going to extend this a little bit so would that make sense hold on let me think about what i'm doing here if i remove that oh yeah so this is what i want to do <laughs> I actually want to slice this a little bit more. I want to slice this through so that it separates my white. So actually, I'm going to bring in my glyph again, my handy dandy glyph. And this this was uh, not partially my fault, totally my fault. Um, I was hoping that this connected all the way through, but it didn't. So let's make this a little bit thicker so it matches. Okay, then I'm going to flip this around. And this time, I'm going to match this black. And I'm going to run it down. So that it extends into my white. Okay, so let's hope this works. Okay, so that's connected. I want to slice it with this white. And let's slice that. So that's a little hiccup, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's remove this and see what we have. Ah, undo. Hold on. Okay, so now I think what we can do is on this white piece, we can go to contour. And what we want to get rid of is we want to get rid of this piece. Nope, not this one. I want to get rid of this one. There we go. Right, that one is the one I want to get rid of. This, I want to keep with my white. So this is currently selected. I want to go to my white face. Where's my white face? Um, oh, right here. Hit the shift key and the white. And we're going to weld it back together. So see? All right, so now it cut through. And so the pigtail is... Um, the pigtail is now separated. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. So again, with the glyph, bring in your glyph. So it's to the right of the letter P and it's just a square bracket. All right, so here's my glyph. I'm gonna make it bigger to match this, right? I'm gonna flip it around because I'm gonna use this part right here. And right now we're just making sure that it it's a natural curve, right? So that's not exactly right, but it will hit, I think. So let's use that and our white and slice. So here we can click on this and contour. We want to get rid of this new white area. Oh, let me see what this picture is of. Okay, so we want to get rid of this, I think. No, what is that piece? Oh, we just want to get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay, this one we want to contour. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Um, let's see, we want to get rid of this piece, but we want to leave the other piece because this piece and the white face needs to be welded back together. All right, so now our white, let's zoom out so we could see. So now our white face is separated, right? So let's see how this works out for us. So here's our white, it's separated into, I'm gonna keep this as one piece, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, let's just separate it into two pieces right now. So let's duplicate this. We're gonna do top from bottom, okay, just to keep it straight for us. 
All right, so here we're gonna go to contour and we're gonna hide all, so it's gonna leave the face. So we want all the pieces of the face and we can click on this to get to 100. So we want all these things in here. Oh my goodness, it's a lot to click on. Do I even want those little pieces? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so here is our face. And then let's get our bottom. So here, let's hide all, but we want this piece and this. And we don't want the face. What is that little piece? We don't want that little piece either. <laughs> okay, so we've got this and this. Let's look at the face now. So the face we wanna break up into a few more pieces, right? We wanna break this up into one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces. So because it's so close together, we're going to need to contour just like we did. We can't slice it out because it's gonna to be too hard to isolate this little piece or this ear, for instance, right? So let's duplicate this and have six copies. So that's three, four, five, six. And then let's go to contour. Um, all right, so where's our little piece? All right, let's get rid of these little pieces out here so that we can see what we have with the face, okay? So here's our face, and it's 14.8, oh, it's still too big. Oh, because we were gonna extend the, the whiskers. That's what we haven't done. Okay, so let me put this back over here. So she still needs more work. So this face is still too big, and I was going to extend the, the middle whiskers. This one out here, and then this one to here, so that the face is separated into the upper whiskers and the lower whiskers. And that way, again, it's not gonna be a seam, but it's gonna be a deliberate cut. So she's, she did that here, but you see how she did it at the bottom? Um, I think the middle one is a little bit easier to do because this one's so close that's probably more natural looking, and this one as well. Okay, so we've got that. Let's bring in our glyph again i know it's a lot of slicing right now and a lot of little little things all right so let's bring this up here and make it really oops bring our glyph up make it big to match the size of the whiskers and the whiskers i feel like are a little thin okay so let's flip this Okay, and then we'll bring it over and I'm gonna turn it a little bit and I'm gonna zoom in because I want a good cut. And you see it's so close to the edge right there. So we need to just connect it a little bit. It moved on me. It was perfect. <laughs> all right, so that actually looks really perfect, right? It, it's just very natural going all the way to the end. So we've got this glyph, hit the shift key and the face. This is the right face. Yes. And slice. Okay, so this we can get rid of. Now we need to go over here and do the same thing. Um, so on this side, let's see. Okay, so let me do the same one. I'm gonna contour, get rid of that little dot. And then I'm going to flip. Okay, let's see if it's in the right, okay. Flip this over. I almost feel like it needs to be a little bit thinner. OK, 
Okay, so let's move this over and see if we can get it to be a little bit thinner. I'm still not getting it right. Okay, there. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and the white face and slice. Okay, so we can get rid of all of this now. Okay, so now the face, we can duplicate this. And we're gonna separate top face, bottom face. <laughs> okay, so top face is going to be above the whiskers, right? So let's contour this. And we don't want, let's get rid of the bottom. Um, okay, oops, I got, to, got rid of too much. Hold on, what did I click on? Did it not go all the way through? What am I looking at here? Let's see. That, oh, hold on. That should give me, oh, I see. Okay, so let me contour. Hold on, what are we contouring out? We are contouring out. Why is it not top and bottom? Let me move this over a little bit. It's basically saying we don't have a clean cut somewhere. So let's see. So this, oh, okay. So we've got to connect this because this all opens up. So let's see. So I just need to connect this right here. So with that one, I'm just gonna do a little small circle. Okay, make this really, 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 really thin. And probably the glyph would be a good part right here, but I'm a little bit lazy right now. So I'm gonna get that right there. That way it actually separates the face. Right now the face is not separated. There's a little hole right here. So it's if, if you thought about pouring water in this thing, it would get all the way through. So we don't want that. We want to slice this. So let's get rid of this. Okay. This one, what do we want? We want to get rid of that. But on this one, let's look at what we want to get rid of. We only want to get rid of this bottom one, I think. Okay. So this, we will weld that together. Okay, so now if we duplicate this, we're gonna contour. We should be able to contour top half from bottom half, yes. Okay, so here's our top half, 14.8 by 8.438. I think if we rotate this, can we rotate it enough to get it to work? 11.5 by 11.4. Gotta go this way. 11.2, I need it to be under. Oh, that works. 11.373. So this, I wonder if I can move it. Yeah, so this right here, 11.491 by 11.882. You can cut that on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've got that top portion out of the way. This one, we're gonna need the bottom portion. So let's click on this, contour. And now we don't, we wanna hide all. We want this one, we don't want this. And our bottom piece is not a problem. 12.1 by 4.6, we just rotate it, it'll be good. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Let's zoom back out. We can get rid of this face because we cleared up the, the top and bottom. Now we need to just 
Oh, we gotta, gotta keep her little pieces in. Okay, so let's contour. We want to hide all. And we want this little piece and we don't want the face. So we're now getting all these little pieces, okay? They're tiny, not my favorite. <laughs> Let's go to contour, hide all. Click on here to get to 100% so you can see what's left. We want this piece, we don't want this piece. And we're just making our way over. All right, so next one, contour, hide all. Click on the percentage sign so it gets to 100%. And then we want this piece and this piece. Did it not work? Okay. And we don't want this piece. Oh, we don't want the whisker. Okay. So here's our little pigtail thing. All right, making our way through. Go to contour. Hide all. 100%. And then we want to the right, we want some of the hair over there. So let's see, where is my little figure? Where did it go? All right, design space, don't die on me now. <laughs> where are you? What? Okay, let's see. Let's go to contour, hide all, click on 100%. Okay, there we are. I want this piece and I don't want this piece. I know it's making me want to um, save it right now, but I'm not done with the project, so I'm a little bit worried that if I save it and all disappears, I have nothing left to show you. <laughs> all right, let's go to hide all, uh, hit to the 100%. We want this little guy. We don't want the face. Okay, so we are almost done. We've got the top portion all good. Now all we need to do is let's put this one back over here. We know really the only problem area is this. So we're going to bring in our glyph again. So let's go to text and I want my little square bracket. Make it a little bit bigger before I bring it up so you can see it. Okay. So this is too thick compared to this. So I'm definitely going to make it smaller so that it's thinner. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around. Do I wanna flip it around? I kinda of want it like this. So let's move this over. This is not gonna look as clean as I want. It's gonna be something like this, okay? So we're gonna do that and we're gonna grab the bottom white. So let's see where this bottom, here it is. Hit the shift key and grab this piece, it's the bottom white, and slice. And let's see what we have. All right, so we're gonna remove this. Remove this. This one we wanna contour. We wanna just get rid of this, but this piece we need to weld it back. So let's contour. And dang it, it didn't cut all the way through. <laughs> okay, so we gotta do the same thing that we did up above, which is slice through this thing. So I'm gonna take a, oh here, this little circle is perfect. Let's, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, my cut was not perfect. It was so close to being perfect though. I'm gonna make it really, really small. I just need, oh gosh, I need to. Okay, I need this little circle. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, where's my little circle? Here's my circle. Arrange, send to the front so that way it's the top layer so your mouse can grab it. Okay, and I'm gonna make it even thinner. I need it to go just over a little bit more. There, so I'm gonna slice that with my white line and slice. Okay, so I 
think we're good now. So now this piece, hopefully, let's contour. Okay, good. I don't want this piece, but I want the rest. Yep. So I'm gonna take this plus my white and I'm gonna weld it back together. So this bottom part looks really good. That I mean, her arm right there, or that leg, that looks like, yeah, it should be its own piece and then everything else. So let's get rid of these little guys over here. Oh, I don't think I can. So let's move this out of the way. Let's see if we can get these, yeah. Let's delete these little things and we're almost done. <laughs> okay, we need to contour these pieces out, just like the top. I'm not gonna do that because I think it takes some time. I'm gonna show you instead, because we just did this with the, with the face, so hopefully you're good with being able to contour out to separate those pieces. Those pieces all should be um, pieces that we can cut on the Cricut. So all we have left is this piece, the big background. So I'm going to build a bunch of squares. So we're going to make sure that it's completely um, aligned and flushed with each other so that when we cut it up, we can easily put it back together. Okay. So she is 19 inches by 28. So we're going to need, assuming we're using 12 by 12 cardstock, right? You're going to need two columns because one column would only be 12 inches. Two columns would be 24, right? She's 19 inches. Technically it's 11 and a half because you can't really cut 12 inches, right? So I make it 11 inches because I don't like dealing with half inches. So 11 plus 11 is 22. That will cover us. And then we're going to need three rows because two rows is only 22 inches. Three rows is 33 inches, which would cover the 28. So you're basically going to have six squares. Okay. So let's bring in our square and let's make it 11 inches by 11 inches. So you're just going to go here and change to 11. All right. Put it just somewhere in the top over your piece, okay? And then we're gonna go and round to the nearest whole number. We're using the position feature. So 18.056 becomes 18, 14.4 becomes four. What we're telling Design Space is, on your X coordinate, that's the one running across, go over 18 units, go down 14 units, and here's the beginning of your square. Then we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna put this square super close to the first one and we're gonna to round to the nearest whole number. So 29.2 becomes 29, 14 is already good. So I'm gonna show you the math behind it. So this one, the X is 18. 18 plus the 11 inches of our paper. So 18 plus 11 is 29, then this starts at 29. So we have two um, flush squares. So just hit shift and grab both of them and we're gonna duplicate. We're gonna make this set flushed with the top set. So if you put it really close, you could just go and round. So 18.056 becomes 18, 25.2 becomes 25. Then we're gonna duplicate again and do this last one down here. Okay, so 18.1 becomes 18, 36.1 becomes 36. All right, so we have six flush squares. Go over to your right-hand side panel, scroll all the way to the bottom, get your black background, go to arrange and send to the front. Right here, all we're looking for, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, I know, I'm going back and forth. We wanna make sure that we cut this into six big pieces. What we don't want is something like this, where you're slicing off a little piece of the bow, and it's a small piece that you need to keep track of. Once you cut it, and then you gotta tape it, you don't want that. You wanna make sure that this is over. You wanna see this is going to be the top left. It's one big piece, one big piece. Let's look, this is a pretty easy one. So this looks good the way it is. I'm going to zoom back out and we're gonna slice one square at a time. So one square plus the image, slice, go in the middle, slice, go down below, slice, go over here, 
slice and one more slice and then we're done. And then I'm gonna move all the pieces so you can see what I'm talking about. And I like building the grid because you're gonna have your four corners, your four pieces are gonna go and you know exactly where they go and that helps you eliminate the seams and it just helps the headache of piecing it together. So here's our first piece, right? One big chunk. Here's the other chunk, it goes right here. And so what I was talking about with the four corners, these four corners right here, you know they butt up to each other. So you can just smush them up together, tape it, and you'll have, you'll have your little Marie back together again. And then all our colored pieces go on top and all our colored pieces are technically seamless. So it's gonna look amazing, especially if you use some colors that pop for the pink and everything and her eyes. All right, so you can get rid of all of that. If you are still with me, I will separate out this piece now because I'm also going to make this, so I need to do it for myself anyway. Um, but if you're done, and you're good to go with the instructions, thank you so much. And just leave me feedback. Let me know what I can do for you guys, all right? So I'm gonna say bye, but for those that wanna stay on, we're still here. So let's separate this. This is, I'm going to separate this as one piece. So this is one, two, three. I wonder if this is small enough. I think it is. So I'm gonna separate it as one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's duplicate this. That's two, three, and four, and let's go to contour. All right, so with contour, we want to hide all, what does it leave us? Great, the arm, the long arm that we're not sure if it's gonna work. All right, so five inches by 15, I think if we go all the way diagonal, 11.5 by 11.5, so we need to go a little bit this way, perfect. So this will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's go to this one, contour, hide all. Um, and we want this piece, this piece, and this piece. We don't want the arm. So that's a chunk there. Let's go back to this piece. We need the chest, basically. Um, hide all, I want this. I don't want this. So you can see you can either use the panel or you can click on the picture. And then now we have this contour, hide all. I want this, this. So the little toes, oh, I'm so tempted to weld them together, but I don't wanna make too many changes to this. Hold on, let's get rid of this arm. Okay, 9.7 by 9.1, yes. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna click save. And I'm actually gonna piece this together so that we can put the two pictures side by side so that you could see the difference it makes if you slice in certain areas. Oh no, 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 no. All right, I'm just gonna try to save it. Oh man. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think. Fast forward, slow down, did I miss anything? All right, I will see you guys next time, bye.